this is my project-based learning planner for my self-directed project-based learners. So self-directed project-based learning is when students design and execute their own projects. And um, a big part of that is planning and organizing those experiences. I have a teacher version of this also, and I've had that for a while. I wrote a blog post about it. You might have read that. Um, that really goes into the facilitation side of things, how you facilitate self-directed project-based learning in your classroom. This is the student version. I also have, if you go to my website, experientiallearningdepot.com, I have a free sample that could apply to both a student and the teacher's perspective of self-directed learning. So I highly recommend that you go in and grab that free download um, and start with that. And then come and really get into this. Um, this is a lot more detailed than that sample. Um, but that is a good example of what this looks like. So um, this resource for students is interactive. So, you know, you can click on January. This is all connected, should be, there we go. And it will go directly to your January slide. And that goes across the board. You can also go to presentation mode and navigate that way. Going pretty slow today. Um, PBL steps, right? So same idea, but in a different view. Um, okay, so it includes an index of project-based learning terms, particularly as they relate to self-directed. These are specific steps for students to go through this experience a place to list project ideas, final product ideas, a community expert catalog to come back to as needed. Um, and then it gets into the monthly planning. So this is a 2021 calendar right now, but I change out those dates every new calendar year. So you don't have to do that. Um, and so each month includes a monthly calendar. This is just an overview of um, what their project plan looks like for the month, and then a monthly calendar, a weekly calendar, a day planner, and um, this is approval meetings and stuff like that. I'll get to that in a second, but let's go back to the calendar. The calendar is interactive, so on this side I have all of these drag and drop elements for specific project-based learning elements. So um, let's say they're doing a career project and they want to brainstorm a career project to do. They're going to start doing that on Monday. I drag drag and drop that over this way. Um, maybe they want to be able to have a project designed for approval by January 7th. And they put that in there. Um, and because these are personalized projects, there might be something on that side that they don't have. So they can just click in here. Let's say they get a meeting or an interview with a sonographer. Maybe that's the career of their choice. They can just type that right in. There's text boxes here for them to do that. Um, there's instructions for every slide. You can't see it in this video, but down below here is um, presenter notes, and there's a whole bunch of specific directions written in there so that there should be no confusion for students whatsoever. And then it goes through this with every month all the way through December. Um, same thing with the weekly planner, and they can make a copy of the slide to make additional weeks. Same thing with the daily planner. There's, um, it's just so seamlessly written out for students so that um, there really shouldn't be any question about what's next. There's a lot of room and flexibility for creativity and autonomy in self-directed learning but students still feel like they need some structure, especially if they're beginners. So this is a great resource for seasoned and new project-based learners and educators for that reason. So I hope you'll go and grab this, take a look at it, um, and again, check out that freebie at my website. This can be found at Teachers Pay Teachers at Experiential Learning Depot. Um, otherwise, it will be on the link in my bio for a little while.